excited to be on this call. And I want to tell you guys why I'm excited about this. So a couple of weeks ago, uh, Christian, it was probably more than a couple of weeks ago, but Christian's been talking about this, uh, this run that you guys have been going on, this 30-day run. And uh, I think it's awesome. I love to see when our teams, uh, you know, kind of self-start, that they create momentum and they create energy on their own. Obviously, corporate, you know, our job is to help with some of that, you know, and we do that through our products. We do that through, you know, promotions and, and things like that. But I love it when our teams and our leaders, you know, our great leaders kind of take the bull by the horns. I don't know if that's a common phrase over there in Europe, but, you know, take the bull by the horns and, and just create something out of nothing. And the reason I'm so excited is because it's working. Uh, we're seeing the numbers. We're seeing the, uh, the you know, what, what's going on over there in, in Europe, specifically, you know, in Germany and Austria and Switzerland and Latvia and, and, and all these markets. And we are fired up about it because, you know, let's be honest with ourselves. You know, it, it's we had this really cool promotion going on in July. We had some exciting things happening, but the summer months are hard. <laughs> you know, it's a hard it's a hard time for network marketing in general. It's a hard time for business. The world's in a really unique situation with this coronavirus, with with the COVID-19. And so there are a lot of obstacles, a lot of, of reasons why people could at this point in time, you know, take their foot off the gas. There, there are reasons why people could be slowing down. And so I, I have loved to see the leadership and, and this renewed energy happening over there in Europe. And, and like I said, it's working. The growth is starting to build. The momentum is starting to build. And so we just couldn't be happier, couldn't be prouder with all of our European, uh, you know, leaders. I, I want to I want to recognize a couple of people. I, I asked Christian, you know, because Christian and I talk all the time throughout the day, uh, you know, like during dinner when we're with our, our families. Sometimes he probably gets annoyed by me, but but because I'm always you know calling him and bugging him. But but you guys know Christian; he's the man. He's he's always willing to help. Um, and I was talking to him. I said, Hey, listen. I, 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 of course, know all the names that I see on the leaderboards. I know a lot of the leaders, uh, you know, that I, that I have some conversations with, I'm in groups with, but um, I, I said, Christian, who are some of the people over there that are making this thing happen? And so he gave me a couple people and some of these names I absolutely recognize. So I'm excited to, to, to give a shout out and some recognition to some of the people that are happening. And of course, there's like 30, 40, 50 people that I, I think I could name if, if I sat down and really thought about it. I don't, you know, so, so please nobody get offended if your name's not mentioned here, but just big shout out to Tobias, Antonia, Heiko, Philip, Leone, uh, you know, just to name a few of the people that are absolutely driving this 30 day, uh, you know, kind of push and all of this excitement and this energy. Uh, you know, these are, these are hard workers, you know, Phillips are our newest diamond, uh, just, just hustling and pushing hard Tobias. Uh, you know, always, always out there leading in front, being leaders that lead by example. These guys are more focused on their teams than they are focused on themselves, which to me is the number one most important quality of a builder, of a leader. And that, that goes for anything, man. You could, you could apply that to sports. You could apply that to politics. You could apply that to anything. If a leader is more, uh, more focused on and more interested in the success of his teammates and the success of his team, then ultimately, you know, there is a there is is something that happens when you know people start to feel like the person that that doesn't have to worry about them does worry about them and does help them, and 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 seriously, that's when you know momentum can build and really big things can happen. You know, it happens you know on a, on a corporate level at companies. Uh, you know, we we've seen it here. You know, I, I'm I'm so fired up about the successes of our corporate team. You know, seeing how well Christian is performing out there and Cade Miller, who some of you guys are getting to know. Uh, Austin Smith, who, you know, manages all of our traders. He's the guy that's helping, you know, uh, put into motion with Rod Earl, our technology guy, you know, the new pages. I, I hope you guys have, have kind of checked out the new back office that it's starting to look really, really sharp. It's better on mobile, better user experience. Uh, you know, we've got a great customer support team led by Riker Healy. You know, some of these people are behind the scenes that you guys don't see, but, but I feel the same thing that's kind of happening over there in Europe with this, this, you know, renewed energy and this, this, you know, this run, this push that's going on is the same thing happening here at corporate. We have really doubled down and I'm, I'm fired up about the way that our team is operating. We're operating efficiently. We're, we're able to get things turned around and do things, you know, better and quickly. Um, and, and so I'm going to talk about some of that in, in a minute. I'm getting carried away with, with my point, but um, I just want to give a shout out to those guys. Also, you know, uh, Bastion and Nebu, I know some of our newer members, uh, I recognize them on our, our third quarter uh, I hope you guys saw that third quarter recap video that, that we sent out. 
um, you know, I, I poured a lot into that because I really feel like there's so many good things happening and I shared some information there. You know, Robin and Anna, uh, of course, Miguel, who, you know, I, I, I could sit here and I could talk about my respect that I've, I've gained for Miguel, uh, you know, working with him, you know, firsthand seeing him in the chats and seeing his work ethic. You guys don't realize that I literally, uh, you know, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, every day I see him in the chats having conversations with corporate, with, with Christian, with Kate, whoever it is, uh, and, and he's trying to solve problems trying to make things happen. And ultimately, because all he wants is he wants everybody on his team to win. And I see it. I, I see it. And I respect it so much. Miguel, thank you for all that you do, man. Your leadership is so important to our company and our company's success. You really are a leader that I, I talk about all the time with other leaders because I want everyone to follow suit. I want to have lots of Miguel's out there. And I know you're working on creating lots of Miguel's on your team. So I appreciate all you do. Martin, Tino, Felix, you know, all the way up, you know, even, um, Rick and Anthony and other leaders that are, that are uh, you know, kind of uh, some of the, the legacy guys. I appreciate everything that everyone's doing. So shout out to all those guys. I want to recognize the hard work. And man, I'm just, I'm so excited and happy for you and appreciative of the work happening over there in, in Europe and, 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 you know, specifically Germany, Austria, Switzerland, those markets where we're seeing, you know, a lot of this growth. Um, I, I want to talk today. I, I've actually made some notes. I'm looking at my screen because I, I want to not miss any of these things that I jotted down but if it's okay uh, with you guys, I wanted to, you know, Christian had mentioned as well that, you know, for the most part, this is a call, uh, you know, with a lot of leadership, with a lot of our, our distributors, people that, you know, are, are in this thing. And, and maybe there's a couple of people that are, uh, you know, uh, prospects and, and looking at this thing. But for the most part, uh, you know, the vast majority of these people, they're in this business. They, they've made a decision to lock arms with Kuvera. And so, you know, from, from my perspective, you know, you guys get to hear oftentimes from your great leaders about, you know, about the opportunity, about the vision. But I wanted to share with you guys, you know, some of the vision and some of the strengths of Kuvera, where we're at, where we're going, you know, from a corporate perspective. And I think that's something that, um, you know, it, it's going to be different and hopefully we'll add some, some clarity around some things. And so I'm going to jump right into it and talk about, you know, some of the vision and, and, and kind of where we're at as a company. But first of all, before I do, it's always important for me to remind everybody, one of the things that makes Kuvera so unique is that we are owned by a publicly traded company. And, and in the United States, that's a really big deal. When a company decides to go public, it's a massive, massive decision because what that means is now the government gets to be you know, all up in your ass. Well, what that means is the government can absolutely uh, you know, be aware of everything you're doing and make sure that you're doing things above board, that you're doing things the right way. You know, and, and for me, that's such an important part because as we all know, this industry is full of shadiness, right? There's a lot of things that happen. Companies that pop up one day, they're gone the next day, or they're operating in a, in a company or in a country, you know, in a way that's, that's not uh, legal. There's all these kinds of things that happen. And so we can't do that. <laughs> as a publicly traded company, uh, you know, we will, get, we will get shut down immediately. And so for me, that's a massive strength and it speaks to the longevity and, and one of the things that we um, that really differentiates us from from other companies that are just fly by night, pop up now, maybe they make a little run for a few years and then they're gone. You know, our, our plan is to be here for a long time. We've been here for over six years. We've been at this for, for a while. And even though we've had to, you know, we've reinvented ourselves a couple of times. You know, I always talk about I feel like the company almost was was reinvented and relaunched, uh, you know, end of last year. Uh, and, and that's really where I feel like the Cuvera that I identify with, the company that I know is the company and that I love and that I'm, I'm fired up to be a part of basically was launched, uh, you know, 12 months ago. And, and so you guys, you know, even though we have some history and we have, uh, you know, we've, we've been able to learn some things and that's a strength. The reality is, is you guys are a part of something that is brand new and, and it's stable with the fact that the, um, you know, it's a subsidiary of a publicly traded company called InvestView. So I always want to mention that. Uh, I already mentioned, but I do think it's important, guys, we continue to make improvements on our product offering, the value of it. It's something that we don't probably do a good enough job at advertising, but every single week we add more videos to our library, to our, to our Kuvera University. It's, it's, you know, thousands of hours now of content that people can learn the markets. They can learn all about their finances and how to have success in the markets. Uh, and we continue to improve the user experience. We've added all these new pages and it looks better and it's, it's, you know, uh, it, it, the, the user interface is better. And, and I'm excited about that, guys. Another strength that I want to mention, and I, I always have to mention, is 
you know, one of the, the majority shareholders, and in other words, one of the owners of Kuvera is a guy by the name of Brian McMullen. And I know some of you guys have had the opportunity to be on calls with Brian, maybe others haven't, but guys, Brian McMullen is another reason why every single one of us can be confident that we are at the right place. We're at, here at the right time because this guy has never lost. This is a guy that's undefeated. You know, when he, when he joins a team and when he puts his money into something and when he puts his effort and his focus into something, then amazing things happen. And this guy's had multiple wins. He's made millions and millions of dollars in network marketing, millions of dollars in crypto, millions of dollars in investing in businesses. I mean, he's, he's the man, right? And we all wish we could be a little bit more like him and, and, and have bank accounts similar to him. But man, he is involved. And, and guys, I want to tell you something that maybe he doesn't share with people all the time, but the Kuvera business, he named Kuvera. So it was his idea to change the name and become Kuvera. And so he really considers Kuvera part of his legacy. And he is he is 100%, you know, not willing to ever let anything happen to his baby. Kubera is his baby. You know, at times, you know, Brian's so busy and he has so many things going on that, you know, there's, there's some months where like, I'll hear from him every day and sometimes I won't. But what I know for sure is he's never too far and, and he loves what we're doing. And he's a big part of why we're, we, uh, we're having success and we're going to have a lot of success. Guys, I want to share with you something that I hit on on the third quarter, third quarter recap video. But it's so important that I want to share a little bit more information about it. So I mentioned that our retention is, is growing. Our retention is getting better and better. First of all, I believe that's because we have, you know, we have gone through this process, you know, maybe the beginning of the year and through the summer, we, we've, we've weeded out some of the people that were maybe some of the weaker uh, links of, of the chain. And we now have some really great leadership. And we have great leaders that are bringing people into the business the right way. And they're, and they're setting the right expectations. And, and they're doing things, you know, they're, they're focused on the product. They're focused on helping people understand the, the compensation plan the right way. And, and like I said, setting the right expectations, both for the product and for, you know, the build and the opportunity side of the business. And so our retention is increasing every month. Guys, our retention is two times better than the average network marketing company in the industry. And those are facts. Those are benchmarks numbers that we got from a consulting firm here in Salt Lake City that does consulting for network marketing companies all over the world, uh, you know, many of those, you know, l large companies are, are headquartered here in Salt Lake City, but also some in Florida and some in California and other places. And they did all this, this uh, research and they found, you know, that the average network marketing, uh, the life of an average network marketer, somebody that comes in and says, I'm going to do it, is like two and a half to three months. And guys, we're double that. And I believe that we will. And, and so one of my goals, when, you know, when we talk about vision, one of my goals is I want all of us to have, uh, have the mentality that when we bring somebody in, they come in and they're three months, no, no, six months, absolutely not. One year, two year, three years, that's the type of retention I believe we can build because I believe we have products that are so different. They're so much better than so much of what's being, what's being offered out there. The product suite that we offer is, is so robust and there's so many different things. Um, so yeah, even though I'm really happy and I'm satisfied with the fact that we're way better than the average network marketing company, I am, I'm convinced, I'm 100% convinced that we can increase it more. I, I believe we can get to, you know, in the next six to 12 months, I believe we can have our retention, the average life of one of our clients stay for around a year. And, and just think of what that means. You can start to run the, the math. Let, let's talk about a rapid fire bonus, right? If today we know that somebody will stay five or six months and you know that you make $25 a month for everybody that you bring into the business, regardless of which plan they're on, right? Which, or, or which subscription they're on. You can start to run some math in your head and know just, you know, not even counting, you know, team commissions and, and all the other elements of the compensation plan. You can start to run some math really quickly and say, hey, I know I can count on a residual income every single month for X number of months because I know that Cuver at Cuvera, we keep people for this long. And, I, and as we continue to increase that, just think of the confidence that builds with all of our distributors as they know somebody can come in and they will stay for six months, seven months, eight months. And the impact and the power that has, because people then can actually plug in. They can learn how to do this the right way. So often people fail because they don't learn how to do it the right way. So guys, I'm excited. That is one of the strengths. One of the things that I am really fired up about is how good of a job you guys as leaders have done at increasing our retention, at you know, kind of getting back to the basics, focusing on the right things, setting the right expectations, bringing people into the business, focused on the product, becoming you know, a product of the product yourselves. Guys, all those things lead to a legacy company. And that's when, you know, when we talk about vision, we talk about where we're going, what we're going to do. The most important thing that you guys have to understand is as a company, as a corporate team, you know, this is bigger than any individual. 
uh, if, if tomorrow I get hit by a bus, and I hope I don't, but if I do, you know, we've got the team in place, we've got leaders in place, Th this thing will continue to go on with, you know, a lot of people that are in this for the long haul, right? We want to we want to build something big, we want to build something that will be around for a very long time. So you don't have to worry, is the company, you know, next week going to completely, you know, decide that we're going to start selling soap, uh, or we're gonna, you know, we're going to change the, the entire uh, you know, compensation plan and make it, you know, something that's totally not understandable. I mean, our goal is to work with our leaderships, uh, work with our leadership and be around, be around for a very long time. Guys, I want to talk about a couple of key products. Um, and I'm already kind of spending too much time on this area because I want to get into some of the other stuff. But I want to talk about a couple of products because I think it's really important for you guys to understand uh, kind of what we're focused on. At corporate, you know, we wake up every single morning and our goal, our, our focus is to make sure that all of our, our distributors and our members that are using our products are having a successful experience. That doesn't mean that every single time that every trade's going to be a winning trade, that every single, uh, you know, every single week's going to be a winning week or every month's going to be, of course, there's ups and downs as people participate in the markets. There's ups and downs with, with everything. But our focus is to continue to add value to our product offering. So one of the things we recently did uh, is we added a product called um, Equity Prime. And I know that probably some of you guys have heard about it. Uh, obviously, you know, trading the, the, you know, the stock market and in ETFs and stuff like that is, is probably pretty new to a lot of people uh, on this call today. In a lot of cases, you know, people in Europe aren't, don't have as much uh, of a custom to, to trading in, you know, kind of the U.S. equities market and stuff like that. But guys, I want to encourage everybody to familiarize yourselves with this product, to get on the boot camp calls and learn about this because there's absolutely platforms out there. There are, you know, brokerages and, and it's not, it, it's absolutely allowed. It's, it's something that you guys can do and you can have a lot of success with, but this product is kind of setting the, the, the standard for how we want to launch all of our products. In fact, we have plans now, now I'm talking a little bit about the future of relaunching some of our other products, Forex and, and crypto as well in a similar fashion, not necessarily like, you know, taking anything away, but just organizing our products in a different way so that we actually have you know, we have this, this equity prime product. We plan on launching a similar format for our Forex products and then a similar format for our crypto products so that it's really organized, it's clean. Here's our Forex kind of umbrella and underneath the Forex umbrella, here are the specific strategies. That's exactly what equity prime does. We've got an equity product, that's kind of the umbrella equity prime. And then it's got three specific strategies underneath. You know, one of them that is options trading, one of them that, that capitalizes on ETFs and is a, you know, it's a, um, uh, institutional trading algorithm that we're basically able to license and use. It's really, really powerful in Trend Pro. And then Portfolio Pro is where, you know, it's basically building your portfolio, adding stocks and ETFs to your portfolio that you can basically ride the, the long ride with, right? You, you know, you hear about people all the time, they get massively wealthy and they have a portfolio, right? They have this really great portfolio. Well, that doesn't just happen because, you know, they, they decide they want a portfolio. They've got to be working on that portfolio constantly. And so Portfolio Pro is a way that you can continue to build a great, powerful portfolio that can help you build wealth over the long haul. So really kind of a cool way to kind of launch a product. Well, the same plan is what we will do with Forex and with crypto and with other products as we introduce them. We'll kind of create them as a product category. And then underneath, we'll have the strategy. So it's really easy to follow along, really simple to use. We'll still have this Alerts 1 concept, but Alerts 1, you know, kind of becomes more of just the delivery system. Right, because we know that we have alerts one, which that's that's you know our integration with Telegram, so you can get your alerts. Anyway, I didn't plan on getting into that much detail, but now I'm telling you some of the things that we're working on and talking about the future of our products, and I'm excited about that because I really feel like it increases the overall uh, value for our users. It, it makes the user experience more easy to understand, it's more intuitive, and then people can can dive in there and they can choose which strategies they want to follow. And you know my. Uh, my, my vision is that we'll have members, we'll have distributors, we'll have people all over the world. You know, they'll, they'll select different strategies inside of each of these product categories and have a diverse portfolio overall, right? You know, because you might have one month when the crypto markets kind of don't go your way and one month where, you know, the Forex, may, but, you, but if you have your money diversified, then you're never going to feel like, well, oh, great, I'm, I'm you know, things all went to, to hell because you have your money diversified and working for you in a variety of different ways. So anyway, I'm fired up about that, guys. And the performance of our Equity Prime product has been awesome. Once again, Crypto Elite still is, in my opinion, you know, it's a flagship product for us. Uh, those of you that are, that are using Crypto Elite, um, you know, I'm sure you're already experiencing it. You're, you're loving the, the success you're having. Those that aren't, 
you've got to jump on those uh, those boot camps every Monday morning. Learn about this product, guys. Crypto Elite is exactly what everybody wants. It's it's something where you can set it, put your money aside, and forget it, and it's going to do its thing. And the 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 historical performance of Endotech kind of speaks for itself, guys. These guys have done it for a really long time, and they've done a really good job. Uh, you know, I know that last month was a month where you know most of the strategies took a little dip, but that's that's trading. That's a part of you know when you when you're involved with with uh, you know the markets, they're going to be up and down. But overall, these guys have delivered massive performance, great results for a long period of time. So I'm excited about that product. And then, guys, <laughs> I know the world continues to be extremely uh, scared and frustrated by this this coronavirus, this COVID thing. Um, you know, I I'm not here to get political or anything like that. But what I do know is I was on a plane for the first time in a long time a couple of weeks ago. So I know there's some things getting back to normal a little bit. And so that gets me excited because I still believe that one of the products that we have that is such a unique little gem is Travel Pro. Guys, it is, you know, I, I booked a rental car and yeah, I only saved like 14 bucks because I was on a quick trip. But man, it's 14 bucks. It, it's, it's money that I saved just because I have this membership and, and I can go in there and I can save money. So I love Travel Pro. I love Equity Prime. I love Crypto Elite and more to come with some really cool products coming out, guys. You know, our, our mission at Kuvera is to help people establish, you know, a more balanced and healthy, you know, financial habits. I mean, obviously, we want to help people get out of debt. We want to help people participate in the markets. We want people to ultimately get on a path where they can create and build wealth for themselves. That, that's really what we want to do, but not so that they can be wealthy, so that they can brag on Instagram that they're wealthy. The goal is not just to help people get rich. <laughs> the goal is to help people create a better life for themselves, a better life for their families. Guys, that's our focus. And that's, that's the why behind everything is if we can help people really, you know, I like to call it a life improvement platform. I know that sounds corny. I know that's cheesy, but ultimately that's a part of what we're doing. We're trying to help people improve their habits and what they do so that they can live a more meaningful life. So they can create experiences because, I mean, I say this all the time, but nobody gets to the end of their life and, and I've never died, but I know that when I am going to die and I'm laying on my deathbed, I'm not going to look back and be like, man, I wish I would have worked more and wish I would have had more money. I wish I would have, you know, uh, driven a, 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 a Lambo, right? I'm not going to look back and think that. What I'm going to think is, man, uh, I wish I would have spent more time with my family. I wish I would have created some more experiences. I wish I could have gone to XYZ location and created a memory there. Guys, that's, that's really, I mean, you could talk to anybody. It doesn't matter your political or, or your religious or your, uh, you know, where you live everybody knows that when when this life is over <laughs> you know all we take is kind of what our memories and the relationships we created and the person we became uh and and so i'm a big believer that in, in order to you know to do that you got to focus on that and so our products i believe are a piece to that they're, they're a piece to that side of helping you create a better life because you can get your finances in order and so that that's the that's the vision that's the mission but what i want to say that doesn't mean that we will always only work in the financial markets, guys, we have been talking, and and again, I'm talking a little bit of vision here. I'm talking about some some things that you know we'll see what comes of this. But we've been working with, uh, you know, a couple of players, a couple of, of key pieces. We may be uh, considering some products that could be very different than what you've expected from Kuvera. You know, we're we're not talking you know financial products anymore, but actually health and wellness products that I believe fit in perfectly. I mean, we have a mantra: a uh, wealth life balance, right? Well. When I think about that, I think of wealth and, and all the things we do to help people build wealth. But I think of life and I think of balance and I start thinking about, you know, nutrition and I start thinking about, you know, physical fitness. And I start thinking about all these other areas that are so important to somebody's overall well-being. I mean, a lot of you guys know, I'm, I, you know, I, uh, I, I'm one of those people that's kind of a fitness fanatic. I go to the gym every single day. I'm very focused on, you know, health and wellness. I, I, I eat really clean. I try to eat really healthy stuff. And I believe that fits in perfectly with creating a better, more stable, more balanced life. So guys, I, I'm, I'm not sharing any details with you today, but we are looking into, we are considering, uh, you know, some health and wellness products that I'm really, really excited about. Uh, you know, I want to talk about Kuvera Cares real quick, because I think that that's also another piece that really is, so important. I've talked about it on other things. So I hope that for those of you that have heard me talk before, you don't feel like I'm repeating myself, but I think it's so important. And I also believe that repetition is a really powerful teacher. But the reason we have this Kubera Cares program is because I, I believe that when, you know, we become really good people and, and leaders, 
um, then other people will be attracted to us. We become magnets when we become selfless leaders, we become magnets when we become good people. And we wanna attract good people to this business. I'm telling you, if, and I've done this before, I've built a network, I've built a team, I actually became uh, you know, an owner of that company and then we sold that and, and it was a really successful thing. And I'm telling you, when we really started to focus on bringing in the right type of people is when we really started to make our company grow. Uh, you know, a lot of times you have people that uh, they're just they're just not a good fit, right? They don't have they don't have leadership qualities, they don't have good character, um, morals, ethics, things like that, and that's not who you want to be working with. So if you have something like Kuberry Cares that's at the forefront, it's, if it's an important part of what we do, is we give back to those in need. And like I've said before, I believe it's you know it's an opportunity we have because you know anybody that's been blessed, there's always somebody that you know you can help out. But more importantly, I think it's a responsibility we have as human beings to give back to those that are that are in need. So we have this Kuberi Cares program. We start to really, you know, use it and make it a part of what we do. And and you know, all of us as leaders, we're we're contributing to the uh, Kuberi Cares. You know, the initiative right now is this Operation Underground Railroad to pull, you know, kids that are have been sold into the sex slave uh, business and, and to help them fight that. These guys go in there and they try to pull them out of it. Well, I mean, I don't know anything else that you could spend your money on that that seems like it's a more productive and a better use of, of, of your money. And again, we're not saying that anybody has to, you know, it's little contributions go a, a long way, but we start to have that become a part of our culture, guys. We're going to start attracting the right people. We're going to start attracting the masses because they're going to say, those are good people. I want to, I want to run with good people. I want to run with successful people, but I want to run with good people that have character that I can trust. I mean, think about it, guys. This is a business of trust, right? If you recruit somebody, if, if you're, in, you know, attracting people to, to join you, and to run with you, they got to trust you. Well, what better way to help establish your trust than showing people that you actually care about other people and that you can, you know, you can, uh, you can give a crap about something besides yourself and, and really kind of, uh, you know, contribute and focus on this Kuberi Care thing. Guys, I'm passionate about it. I think it's an important piece. It's not just like, you know, oh, well, everybody, you know, tries to, to do a charity. So Kuberi does a charity. No, no, no. This is, this is a strategic play for us. We absolutely believe in doing good and we believe it's our our responsibility, but we also recognize there is a strategic reason to do this. And those of you that are leaders that aren't aren't catching on, then I'm telling you, you need to look harder. You need to dig more because this is how you can actually establish Kuvera as a company that does good, that's trustworthy, and that can really uh, you know make a difference in people's lives. That's a part of our culture, guys. I talk a lot about culture. I believe that at Kuvera, we are creating a better culture than any other competitor out there, guys. I know that sometimes we see from a distance, we see on our social media what's happening at some of these companies. And sometimes it may look exciting. It may look like it's fun. But I'm telling you right now, in most cases, it's fake. Guys, we are the company that's real. We'll tell the truth. We want to create a culture that's based on truth. We want to build a culture that, that can last. And so it's not all hype and fake and, and, and all that bullshit, right? We want to create a culture that is different. We want to create a culture that's based on product use, that's based on setting proper expectations, that's bringing people in and actually impacting people's lives. We want to create leaders that don't just look like they're good leaders, that aren't really good at making themselves look like they work hard on social media, but they actually work hard and work for their teams and create something that actually has a foundation. Because I'm telling you, in most of what we see out there with our competitors and with other companies in the industry, is there's a lot of leadership, a lot of people that have gotten really good at making themselves look like they're helping their, their teams and making themselves look like they've, they've created you know, uh, leadership and, and that will fall, man. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a house of cards guys. Okay. I got one last thing that I want to share with everybody and then I'll be done. Sorry. I've already taken more time than I had planned, but I, I hope that, you know, there's some of the, something that, you know, somebody's gotten out of this, that that's valuable. Uh, you know, as we continue to talk about vision and where we're going and everything else, I, I again, I just want to reiterate, we will continue to explore new and exciting products. You know, we're talking about kind of relaunching some of our existing products uh, we, we, man, we are here for the long haul. We're creating a legacy company. We'll continue to improve and get better all the time. We're not taking steps backward. We're, we're literally fixing and, and improving, enhancing all the things we have, but we are not done yet. We will continue to add value and make our product offering better. That's the most important part of it. So I just want to talk about some personal, you know, um, as, as I mentioned earlier, I spent a good amount of time in your shoes doing exactly what you guys are doing, spending all of my time waking up, you know, working to build a team to, uh, you know, to build a network 
And, uh, you know, it ultimately, it, it, it was a, a huge, huge blessing in my life. It, it set me up in a, in a way that, you know, when I bought my first uh, car, you know, it was, it was a nice car and I paid cash. When I bought my first house, I paid for it in cash. Like I was in a situation as a 24, 25 year old guy that had, had built a network and, and built a downline and worked as a leader and created, you know, a skill set that set me up to be able to have a successful life to where now I get to go align myself with a company where I like the vision, I like the people. And, and that's, you know, that's what I get with Kuvera. I don't say that to brag. Well, I, I say that to just let you guys know that I've been there. I know what it's like to, you know, have bad days. I know what it's like to be rejected for, you know, three weeks straight, to have nobody want to join me, that, that nobody wants to, to do what I'm doing. Everybody thinks, whatever, man, I, no thanks. I'll go do something else. I know because I've been there and I've tried it and I know. And, and some of the some of the most important um, advice that I ever got, <laughs> and I got this as, as a young kid, was to not worry about what people think. And I know we hear that, right? You know, as, as, as sales professionals, because even though sometimes we don't want to consider ourselves that, we're, we're in the game of, of selling. We're in the game of, of getting people to, to join us. We're sales professionals. And oftentimes we just, you know, we don't want to, uh, we don't want to have people say no, because we think that when they say no, that they're judging us, they're saying no to us guys, don't worry about what people think. My, my first, my first bit of, of just a couple of keys to my success is stop worrying about what people think about you, because I'm telling you, it doesn't matter what they think about you. You're going to build your network. You're going to build your legacy, whether they think you're cool or not, whether they want to join you or not. So don't care about what people think, who gives a rip what people think about you. That's the first thing that I believe is most important. And <laughs> the most important, uh, uh, you know, little, little tip that I can give. The second thing is, and I've hit on it a little bit here, but I'm, I'm a believer that most of my success in life and most of the most successful businesses and successful people are people that know how to manage expectations. I've said this, and I've probably said it on calls before, but you think about how simple this is. If I have a product and I tell somebody that I, you know, they can expect to get a 3% return per month on, their, on the product, okay? I say, you, I think you'll be able to get 3% and the product does 2%, they're frustrated and they hate you <laughs> because they, you gave them the expectation that they could expect 3%, right? I'm just using this as a hypothetical example. If I tell another person that they can expect to get 1% and they get 2%, the same percentage, right? They get 2%, you're a hero because they thought they were gonna get 1% and they got 2%. So you under promised and over delivered. The same percentage, you know, the two different people, they both got 2%. One's frustrated and hates you, one loves you and is excited and wants to, you know, wants to keep rolling. It all comes down to setting proper expectations. And you can apply that principle to everything, man. You, you think about it, you know, I, I like to use this example. Think about when, you, when you're dating, right? Uh, a lot of times on, on a first date or maybe in the first couple of weeks, you start to talk about all of your strengths, all of your qualities, all the good things that you have. Guys, that is a recipe for disaster. Let me just tell you, I'm married. I've been married for 10 years, so I have a little bit of experience. I got three kids. And it is so important. If I could go back and I could do it, I would do it even better. But to set the right expectations, you don't have to basically tell everybody. <laughs> I saw that comment. That's funny. You, you don't got to tell everybody all the good things that you have. It's probably better that you let your, that this person that you're dating, uh, you know, let them know that you actually have some weaknesses. It, it might be better for you to, to set, hey, I'm okay at, you know, soccer or, or football, right? I'm, I'm okay at it. Turns out you're pretty good. But everything that you do, you under promise over deliver. I'm just telling you that that is the key to everything in life is managing expectations. Um, guys, I, one other thing that I think is so key that all of you guys know, and I'm, I'm just sharing you my belief is that you've got to have, you've got to have a story. Uh, you know, the, the most successful uh, business professionals, the most successful network marketers, the most successful leaders, they are the best storytellers. And you've got to have a story that is personal. You can rely on your upline story for a while. You can talk about the success that your upline has had for a little while. But if you want to have, if you want to maximize your success, you've got to create a story with the products. And I said this, you know, on a call that I was on just last week. Maybe you're in a position where you don't have any extra money to put into the markets. That's okay. You don't have a story about how you're making money in the markets. That's okay. Start using the university. Start plugging into the boot camps. Start plugging into all of your weekly meetings and daily meetings with your teams and start to share with people how it's impacting you. Write it down. Think about it throughout the day at night. Write down what you're learning and how it's impacting your life so that you can tell your story of how it's, how it's impacting you. Guys, it is so important you have your story. I see far too often that somebody's been in the business 
you know, three weeks or three months and they still don't have a personal story, a testimonial of how it's impacting you, that doesn't mean you have to rush and put money into the markets that you don't have. You know, it might take you some time to get your, your uh, financial, you know, money in order, but start using the university, start using the education, start becoming a product of the products you can share and, and you can tell everybody how it's impacting your life. Guys, and the last thing is you, I, I just encourage everybody to become a professional. Don't be mediocre at this. You know, if you see Miguel and you see the way he presents himself or you see any of your other leaders, uh, you know, mimic what they do. Uh, you know, be, the, be that person that's a sponge calling in after the call and being like, hey, I noticed you did this. Why did you do this? Uh, I, I want to I get better. Where do you see that I can improve? You got to be a humble sponge, right? You got to be able to say, where do I suck? How can I get better? How, how, can, I, how can I become like you? And if you're too prideful to do that, if you care too much about what people think, well, maybe he'll think I'm weird or maybe he'll think that I'm annoying. Oh, well, man, don't care about what they think. And I promise you, your leaders won't think you're weird. Your leaders aren't going to be bothered when you're calling them saying, I want to get better. How can I get better? Guys, become a professional. Don't settle for mediocrity in anything, but especially in this business, because far too often people come in, they put one foot in, they try a little bit and it doesn't go as well as they think. And then they fail and they're okay with saying, hey, I failed at something. Failure is okay but only if you fail after you gave it everything you could. Because if you fail after you gave it everything you could, I promise you, you'll be better for it. And on the next thing, you'll be able to apply those learnings. So guys, I just wanted to, to share a couple of those things with you as far as some keys to success, to talk a little bit about the vision of where we're going. I took more time than I planned. I'm sorry. I got a little fired up and excited today, uh, Miguel, but I will pass it over to you. Thank you guys so much for all you're doing. And big shout out to everybody over on the teams that is just crushing it right now. Thank you so much. Guys, give it up for chat. Thank you a lot, chat, for all the value for the time. We really appreciate it. As you can see in the chat, the chat is already burning. Um, really, really nice nuggets. I took a lot of notes. Um, it was just nice to hear again, like the nuggets at the end, uh, to hear that a lot of people, also to see that a lot of people act up on these uh, nuggets that you just gave us. And thanks for, for the future and the future nuggets and stuff like that. Um, and I just want to say, like, I just want to take the time one second and just be thankful for what we have with Covera and to see that nearly every week or nearly every day Covera is changing in, in, in like in products or new designs or back office or whatever. And it's so beautiful to see that the company is growing because as a networker, you get so excited when you see positive changes and we also love, and I get that feedback from so many leaders that we just love that when Covera says they are launching something, it will, it, it's done. It's already like, it's done. Like they launch it and the product is there. Everything is working. There are no problem. There's no hype. It's just like we announce it and it's already out there. So we really appreciate that chat. Um, please give it back to all the corporate team. If you see them tomorrow or later and just say, say thank you from the German, Switzerland and Austria team, Latvia and from all the other teams. So cool guys, at the end of the day, um, thank you for being here. Let's continue to run. There are 15 days more to go to end the 30 day run to give everything you have for that kind of business to push the vision of Covero, to push your own vision and never forget guys, run with vision. And I just wanted to tell you again what my vision or our vision of the leadership, like the Trading Peer Revolution IBA leadership is. I definitely wake, I wake up every day with a smile because I know that we are going to be, or we are already, okay? It's already done. We are going to be, it's already done. The biggest community, not only in Europe, but the, over the world with the best traders, the best educators, the best networkers, the most professional ones, the most um, the most humble ones. So I'm 100% sure that's for what I'm waking up every day. Um, th that's why I, I love to follow Stefan Casting because I know 100% that with the system, we can impact everyone, each and everyone, like everyone all over the world, if it's in Latvia, if it's in Morocco, it's, oh, he's already impacting these people. So never forget, guys, stay humble, um, like get your own vision, like get vision based, have your own vision, but never forget the vision that we leaders give you. And that's pushing so hard that we are the biggest community out there in the world and that we walk in into a GoPro event. Okay, I don't know if, you, if everyone knows what a GoPro event is. If not, then please Google it. But our goal is to walk, walk in in a GoPro event and that everyone turns around and says, oh my God, that's a trading people revolution IBA. So we are really heading to revolution, guys. At the end of the day, I wish you a great Thursday. Thank you for being on the call. I hope you guys took nuggets out of this call. You learned something new. And we see us soon. Love you guys. Um, we see us on the next calls. Bye-bye.